My name is Georgios Marku and I'm a fellow at the British School at Rome. My first visit at the Galleria Borghese was about a decade ago when I was studying Venetian art for my master's degree. I can still remember the excitement that I had when I stood in front of the artworks, which until then I knew only from pictures in books and the internet. The gallery quickly became one of my favorite places in Rome, and there is always something new to discover in here. You just have to look around. But for me, no visit to the Galleria Borghese is complete without spending some time in front of the Virgin and Child by the Venetian artist Giovanni Bellini. The cartellino, the small piece of paper attached on the parapet, is inscribed with the signature Johannes Bellinus Faciepant, but the master would have had considerable support by one of his assistants for the execution of the piece. In 1510, when the painting was completed, Giovanni Bellini was around 80 years old. He was the most prolific and sought-after painter in Venice. He was the head of a large and busy workshop where talents such as the young Titian, works by whom are also in this room, would have learned how to paint under Bellini's guidance. The subject and the small scale of this work suggest uh, that it was meant to be displayed in an intimate setting, serving as the focal point for the private devotions of a household. It was common to own images such as this in Renaissance Venice, but not everyone could afford a painting by Giovanni Bellini. From documentary sources, we learned that these kind of paintings were displayed in bedrooms covered with a curtain or a veil when not in use in order to protect them from the dust or sunlight. Unveiling Drawing back the curtain before prayer would also signify the symbolic presence of the Virgin and Child in the room. In the Borghese panel with a prominent green curtain, Bellini alludes to such a practice of revelation. But in this case, the curtain has been pulled aside to reveal this distant landscape, this atmospheric vista, which was quite common in works by Giorgione. This landscape also testifies to Bellini's ability to respond to the developments of Venetian art. Among the hills we see two structures, one of which is a fortress, while two figures can be seen walking towards the sacred group. The dynamic connection between the beholder and the figures depicted on the panel is one of the things that I really like. Firstly, the curtain creates this illusion of a shared space, establishing an intimate connection between them and us. Also, the Virgin and Child are looking downwards uh, to the person who was kneeling in front of them as if they are really listening to the prayer. For this reason, Mary is presenting her son to the worshipper for adoration. Unfortunately, we do not know the name of the first owner of this panel. What we can say with certainty, however, is that this Madonna and Child would have once offered spiritual guidance and support to the man or woman who, from the privacy of their own bedroom, shared with Bellini's heavenly figures their intimate thoughts, fears and desires. <laughs>